Good morning, folks. We've got UFOs, Comet Atlas, 1998 OR, a geologic mystery, and a cosmological discovery as big as yesterday's dipole universe, and equally complimentary. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the sun mostly quiet. Two bright active regions on the Earth-facing disk and the lead grouping just ahead and a bit south offered a little pop this morning. Such small field breakouts don't produce much in the way of CMEs, but when the sunspots get bigger, so will these eruptions. Any plasma from this one will be swept up in the ambient solar wind, which by the way is calming considerably. Density, speed, and plasma temperature all on the descent, along with geomagnetic conditions this morning. There was an excellent earth spot line caught on GO-16 last night. You can see the heartbeat pulsation of the storms as they send ripples outward, just like sunspots. This storm line was the wind convergence zone. Warm, moist air from the south crashed into cooler, dry air from the north, and their equalization of characteristics is where the energy release occurs. Remember that while the core global electric circuit flows down in high pressure and up in low pressure, the lightning is one of the smaller scale upward current zones. Alert coming again today as the system charged forward and will continue tonight. Eyes open there. Well, folks, the U.S. Department of Defense and U.S. Navy have declassified these videos of UFOs. They want everyone to know the footage is real, and that's pretty much all they've said, which is the key. It's been a year since I shared my position on this, so here we go. Aliens are real. Life should be everywhere across the cosmos, and I think they've been here and are still here, okay? But this is not aliens. This is re-engineered technology of the classified nature. There is a reason why the Navy has all the cool patents for these things, including this one, which actually made our plasma cosmology movie, because the patent claims the only reason this UFO device works is because we live in a plasma universe. I think many, if not most, of the sightings in the sky are actually our government screwing around, but it doesn't take away from the fact that they are real. Up next, we've got confirmation that Atlas broke up from Hubble here and is disintegrating quickly. By the way, there is a bogus report online that some pieces will come very close to the sun and do something scary. Well, that's not correct. They are following almost the exact line, and at these sizes, none is going to actually make it to the sun before breaking apart. Today is also the day that asteroid 1998 OR comes closest. This one is actually less interesting as it's in a stable orbit they've watched go round many, many times, and it is actually already completely out of the Earth's orbital plane. It is already south and heading out now. Folks, this would be one of the most incredible observations of the cosmos if they had actually made it. The animation certainly lets the mind wander. What they call a black hole, two of them in a disc-piercing dance. In actuality, they are using light curve data, but suffer not in the imagination department. The Great Unconformity is up next. Folks, there are these well-known breaks in geology where rock of a certain age is inexplicably sitting on rock that is from nowhere near the same age. They are found all over the world, and they have always been thought to be the result of some great cataclysmic upheaval in the past. Well, now, they're believing it was a number of smaller ones, repeating over time, taking on various parts of the world each time. You don't say. Maybe like one every 12,000 years or so. Last but not least, on the heels of yesterday's dipole universe discovery, today we learn a bit about magnons. Magnons are a quasi-particle, not really a particle, but the quantized spin wave of electrons, or the magnetism if you want to put it that way. The most tangible thing you can touch about the magnetic force are those, and the discovery here is that in Bose-Einstein condensates, magnons are repulsive. Not in the disgusting sort of way, which would be funny, but in the electromagnetic way, which is amazing for science. They found that the condensates were keeping their structure, not collapsing under attraction. And folks, yes, 100%, this might be playing a role in space at large scale. Bose-Einstein condensate is an excellent candidate for the void material in space, pre-bang universe, outside the universe material, etc. And now we know it is self-sustaining in its structure. And this repulsion may even constitute some of the dark energy at grand scale. On the heels of a story about the dipole universe yesterday, this takes on even greater meaning. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, parts one and two in Solar Superstorms came out the last two nights. Going to try to get part three out to you tonight. Cycles and timing of different levels of solar flaring, including my top guesses for when the grid is going to go down. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow.
right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.